So hi everyone, I'm Dr. Saurabh Dixit. Welcome to Surgery Dada and LaproCare World. So today I have a very interesting case for you. So I have got for you a case of right-sided inguinal hernia. And do you know what I'm planning to do today? I'm planning to go for the right-sided TAPP. So what is TAPP? You can start the script. So what is TAPP? TAPP means transabdominal preperitoneal repair and when we are talking about TAPP we have to understand that we go via abdomen so we will make the abdominal ports we will access into the preperitoneal space of Bogros now what is this preperitoneal space of Bogros this is the space between the posterior lamina of fascia transfer cellis and the peritoneum so this is an avascular plane where we have to dissect it and when we talk about laparoscopic hernia it is all about two basic things what is that dissection 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 and mesh placement so once you know how to dissect this you don't require any vascular uh, you can you, you'll say you don't require any uh, special instruments just a forcep and a scissor is more than sufficient to you so let us see let us follow the steps of this surgery so now i'm going to tell you about the excess technique so when we are talking about excess technique the first thing that we need to understand is that we prefer to use a virus needle. Now what is this virus needle all about? This is the virus needle which is not hold, which is not held like this. It is always held like a dart. Can you focus on this? It is held like a dart. Now what is and how it is held? The first thing that you need to understand this is having a spring action. So this is the beveled end and this is the sharp end. The moment the sharp end goes inside, loses the resistance this beveled end comes up and this prevents the injury so the abdominal thickness the rule is the abdominal thickness plus 4 cm is the rule so what are the instruments that are you that you require we require two alleys and an 11 number blade so how do we do let us see this we are going for a supraumbilical axis in this so this is the supraumbilical axis always remember we will go 30 degree to 45 degree can you see this angle can you see this angle this is 30 to 45 degree so what you will do you lift up the abdominal wall and go one click and two click it is gone inside how you confirm that you are inside the abdomen this is irrigation this is aspiration so you can see since it has gone into a cavity nothing but air bubbles are coming out and then this is a hanging drop test so drop is set in so now we connect the gas ignit you can see now the pressure it is showing the dikho idhar show on this machine yeah bas so the set pressure is 15 the actual pressure is 3 now if it is 4 the set flow is 3 and this machine is so smart that it has detected that it is a very insufflation now you can 6 liter of gas has gone and just focus on this just focus on this so there is loss of liver dullness now this is what is very important sign if you are into the right place the loss of liver dullness happens around 0.6 liters do you know that a normal abdomen accommodates around point, uh, 1.6 liters to 5 to 6 liters to create a sufficient pneumoperitoneum so let us follow in the steps of surgery so now we are going to introduce the port the port is held like a pistol you can see with the corkscrew movement it is going and this hissing sound confirms that it is inside of doom how you can see this is triangle of doom medially the structure that you are seeing this is the what this is the vas white color vas these are the gonadal vessels that you are seeing and in between this this is the iliac so can you see the iliacs yes so this is the deep ring now one very important thing is where is the bladder yes this is where the bladder is since can you see the bulb also it is actually you have to feel that so this is the bladder this is the medial uh, uh, you can say or the lateral pillar of the bladder and this is the lateral you can say the fold of inferior epigastric so this is the fold of inferior epigastric and where is the hernia now this is the hernia let us go inside the sac so you can see it's a large direct hernia this is the direct hernia which is which we are seeing in front of us so the hernia let us start with the surgery this is our target.